gold is so heavy about the only thing that stops it is bedrock. I really don't think you understand. It is 19 times heavier than water. So when fast moving water and floods start shifting gravel down a river system, that gravel and hopefully gold will start collecting in the lowest point of any bedrock section. So let's find out if there's any gold trapped in that bedrock. I don't need you. It's the claw. Go home, my pretties. Because these blocks of bedrock are all fractured, I wonder if I can leave some of them, yeah, like that, out. Ha <laughs> ha, success. All this really fine dirt can contain gold. So I'm gonna scrape it off and give the bush its first shave. There could be gold stuck to the sides of all of these rocks. That means they gotta wash them. Ugh. It's like laundry day on the creek. All of that dirt has to go off and into my pan. Now it's the best bit. Panning it down and pulling out four cents worth of gold. Because gold is 19 times heavier than water, we take advantage of that with our pan. Shaking it sinks the gold to the bottom where it can't escape. I can already see my first little flake of gold sitting in the corner there. Today's gold price is over $3,000 Australian per ounce, meaning that every little flake like that is worth about three cents. And this is now affectionately known as the moment of tooth. How much gold did we get? Gold's not the only heavy thing that comes out in a creek like this. We'll get things like black sand, which in our case is tin ore. The more heavies you get in the pan, the more likely it is that you're going to see gold. Oh, there we go. There are roughly 19 reasonable specks of gold in that pan, meaning that that is worth about 60 cents. Not the greatest gold take of my life, but it's a good start.